Disney has had a lot of animated shows over the years. Some of them have been good. In fact, some of them have been really, really good. Some of them have not been very good, ending up in either the mediocre or pretty bad category to being just downright terrible. And today, we're going to count down those blunders in a top 10 worst Disney cartoon. Let's get ready. Number 10. Yeah, we're starting this list off with the most recent show to come out of Disney TV animation. And it's the third show created by Dan Povermeyer, who made Phineas and Ferb and Milo Murphy's Law. The former was a very creative, imaginative, funny show. Though it did run into its formula in the later seasons. The latter show, Milo Murphy's Law, was about the same quality as Phineas and Ferb for the first season. Because sadly things went downhill during the second season with its lacklustre writing and humour and the fact that it had to shoehorn in doofensmirts from Phineas and Ferb in almost pretty much every episode actually and it just did not work out and sadly that level of writing has gone on to this show. Now the premise of a girl and her hamster fighting crime isn't inherently a bad one but sadly, this really falls short of execution. There's a lot of issues with this show, such as the way the show is set up, in the fact that in the first episode, no more than three minutes, aliens just come to zap our main characters with superpowers, and that's it. I get it's supposed to be sort of a joke, and it has been confirmed that this is part of a story arc later on, but the way they executed it, was not good. It was really not good. And it comes off as really lazy writing. And it's not funny. Like, it, it's just not funny. We're basically thrown into the action right away. We don't get time to spend with Gretel and Kevin at first to see what their relationship really was like before this big thing happened. And this is a real issue since the show's core cool foundation is based on that relationship. Also, the other basis of the show is that Kevin wants to be something more than an average boy and the superpower thing was Kevin's real chance of being something more but instead the powers go to Gretel's pet hamster instead of him. But that aspect of his character is only told to us at first instead of being shown making it hard to get invested at first. Look at the first episode of Ben 10. We get to see what Ben's personality is like before he gets the Omnitrix. But here, it's nothing more than a rush job. And they could have included it had they stretched out the episode from 15 to 22 minutes. And just count the stupid 7 minute tree episode. Also, Hampson and Gretel are not the greatest of characters. Hampson is basically just Ferb again in that he's mostly silent and says a line or two per episode. Though some of them are actually pretty funny. I can't wait to be a teenager. Well, that's not happening, we're a cartoon. What? Nothing. But for the most part, he's just there. And I don't find Gretel to be that much of a likeable character. The issue is that the show tends to treat Gretel's abrasive and reckless actions as in the right. And that wouldn't be a problem if it came off as more charming but sadly, it comes off as more annoying than anything. Also, the powers aren't that heavily defined. It seems like they just give them generic superhero powers for each episode. Basically, random powers when the plot demands it. This honestly makes their powers a bit too OP. Maybe if the action scenes were more interesting, then I wouldn't have much of an issue with it. But bar a few exceptions, the action scenes tend to be really, really mediocre. And segueing into the animation, oh my gosh, it's got to be the worst animation from Disney TVA since Pickle and Peanut. It's not the worst animation in the world, I mean, we're not talking about Hammerman or anything, but there are scenes that were missing in-betweens, like there were frames missing. And because of this, it just makes the animation at times choppy. Also, there's some really obvious tweening between the movements 
and it just does not look good. I'm aware that there's been a belt tightening at Disney for obvious reasons, but it still did not turn out to be a great looking product. And when the previous few Disney shows look better than this, despite what's been going on for the past two years, this just looks pathetic. It even looks unfinished in some cases. It just does not look good. Another thing is that the villains of this show are pretty generic for the most part. Some of them are kind of funny, but a lot of them are just really air. Just not that interesting in the least. The whole show just reeks of genericness. In terms of the comedy of the show, it's hit or miss. There are lines of the show that are genuinely funny and did get a hearty laugh out of me, but there are also a lot of jokes that are just not that funny. The characters other than Hampson and Gretel mostly fall into the okay category. Kevin's alright, the parents are okay, Hiromi's okay, Bailey is just almost nothing of a character. Though I will say that Kevin and Gretel's cousin Fred is probably the best character on the show. Her deadpan sarcastic remarks does actually make for some funny lines. Right all the time really does burn up a lot of calories. The other issue with this show is that Hampson and Gretel's alter egos being kept a secret is just dumb, especially since their hero names are the same as their actual names. The fact that some people in this show, including Gretel's friend Bailey, even questions this just makes it extra dumb. And the fact that they have an entire episode based on this just makes it absolutely insulting. Overall, the show just has a lot of issues that makes it just not very good. Though it's number 10 on the list since there are definitely redeeming qualities in here, like some of the characters and even some of the humour that puts it above a lot of the other entries on the list, where the bad parts are even more frustrating and boring, or there's just not that many redeeming qualities in them, while here its issues are just that it's mostly generic.